In this video, we'll be exploring loop and fixed iterators in Matillion ETL, how they work, and how to use them in a job. In this example, we'll use iterator components to repeat work with different parameter values each time. First, we'll create some tables for some analytics data with different years as the suffix. Then populate these tables with data for the corresponding year. First, we'll start with an orchestration job with a create table component, which is currently set up to create a fact table to store some YouTube video analytics data. And if we run this now, it would create one table. But if we want to create a fact table for data for specific years, we can do this using a loop iterator. Drag a loop iterator component onto the create table component. A loop iterator works by iterating a variable. And for this example, I've already created a variable called year, which we can use to create multiple tables for different years. If we go back to the loop iterator properties, then we'll make the starting value 2012 and the end value 2022 with an incremental value of one. If we run this now, it would work, but it would recreate the same fact table over and over again. So we also need to add the year variable in the create table components table name property, like this. Then we can run the job and our fact tables for 10 separate years will be created. Now we'll use the fixed iterator to populate the tables we've just created. So for this example, I'll be using a YouTube analytics component. And under the SQL query property, to write a query to select the columns to match our tables created earlier and with a year's worth of data. For now, I'll set the target table to the 2022 table. If we run this now, we'd get a single year's worth of data input into the correct table. By using a fixed iterator, we can populate all the tables with the corresponding data. First, we'll drag a fixed iterator onto the YouTube analytics component. And again, we'll need variables to iterate over. One for our target table and one for our query, which you can see here. Then we'll add both of these variables, target table and query, into the fixed iterator. Then we'll need to define the iterator values, which is where we define the target table and queries to be run. So I'll input first the 2022 table and copy the query from the YouTube analytics component. We'll just add a single iteration for now, then we need to finish configuring our analytics query component. We can now replace the target table we entered earlier with our target table variable. And the SQL query can be replaced with the query variable. As I set a default value for the query variable, you can see if we click sample, the query will execute successfully. And we could run this job to populate the 2022 table.
To populate the rest of our fact tables, return to the iterations value property in the fixed iterator. And we'll add new rows for the other years with modified SQL queries to select the correct year's worth of data. I'll add a couple more rows for this example, and then we can run the job. We can see in the task panel the tables for the years defined in the fixed iterator being populated with data from its corresponding SQL query. For full documentation about loop and fixed iterators, please visit the Matillion documentation site. And to keep up to date with the latest Matillion documentation videos, subscribe to the Matillion documentation channel.